And what you gonna do? Oh yeah! No! I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Hey yo! I will give you a show like you have never, ever seen before. Why? Because I can. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Rob Van Dam. Give me a hell yeah. Hey everyone, welcome once again, and uh, excuse me while I fiddle with some stuff here, and uh, we're going to take a look at, just got in today, um, the pink and black attack, the Heart Foundation, Brett the Hitman Heart, Jim the Anvil Nightheart, and I'm not a, you know, I bought a couple of these sets, this is my second one, they're pretty cool. I mean, overall, it's two figures in one, and it's based on the packaging for the Coliseum collection. I was never a big fan of that set, that collection, but I like the figures that come with it. So, um, as per usual, you open the box. Now, I will be honest, I did open these up already because I wanted to see if they were chases, and they weren't, and I didn't care if they were or not, but... You know, it's pretty cool any way you slice it. Nice interview background there. And here we go with the Heart Foundation. Jim the Anvil Night Heart, Brett the Hitman Heart. Cool. And one thing I do appreciate, even though I don't utilize it, is this. Just lift off the back. And pop the figure out and that's kind of awesome and inside this little thing here is the accessories and this includes a couple of hands several hands the WWF title and a couple more head skip head head scan. I've been watching too many um, reviews with people who don't know what a head scan and a head script is uh, sorry <laughs> anyway um, now, we'll show you something here right off the bat. Bret Hart, the, I'm not sure you can see it. Let me just the lights a little bit. But Bret Hart is a guy that can never get his head sculpt right. I don't know what's going on there. I, he is the Harrison Ford of Mattel. I mean, <laughs> he really is. Uh, Jim the Anvil looks great though, um, I gotta admit. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do some rearranging and then um, I'll get the ring out and we'll see these guys a little bit in the ring. But uh, anyway, that's the packaging. That's about all I got to say about it. And so here they are out of the box. Um, still thinking about what should be in the background I used the background from uh, Rick Rude and uh, um, Jake the Snake set and it's okay but you know sometimes you notice it and it's uh, wrestling is the videos where I haven't got the background really figured out um, you know, never mind the fact I kind of don't like the, the bouncy ring that I bought. I thought it would be a good deal. It wasn't. It bounces so much and makes the figures hard to pose. But we, we won't get into that right now. Okay, something I need to note is Brett's glasses were kind of rubber banded on his face. So when you try to put them on now, they 
don't quite want to stay anymore. They just kind of fall off. Whereas Anvil's glasses were in his accessories. Want to put them on his head? No problem. Uh, <laughs> so, something to think about, something to be aware of. Let's go over some accessories here. You got this alternate Bret Hart head. And this alternate Bret Hart head. I don't think any of these are really good Bret Hart's. Uh, I'm going to be honest about it. I said it before I said it again. Bret Hart seems to be the uh, Harrison Ford of res wrestling figures. Anvil comes with this grinny head, which <laughs> just fits him perfect. It's, uh, it's such an Anvil expression. And, of course, his laughing head, which is also perfectly... Jim the Anvil died hard. So those match. They both come with one each of the world tag titles. These are really well done. They're silver and gold. So it's like, yeah, that's perfect. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. They also come with these. The uh, my understanding, these are the Stampede Wrestling tag team belts. I don't remember the the heart foundation at owning those belts i thought i had read somewhere and i need to find it uh that both brett and jim had the belts but it in different tag teams um i'm not positive on that uh you know, sometimes wrestling history gets away from you so yeah there's that um stampede wrestling was of course uh, Stu hart's promotion which uh, brett and anvil got their start in uh, Brett also comes with a fist hand, a cupping hand, and open hand, so you can do his hey gesture. Uh, anvil comes with cupping hands, fists, and pointy hands, which again is perfect for Jim the Anvil Nightheart. So there, the accessories are on point, as the kids like to say. The figures are really good. Um, you know, one thing I really love about Mattel, um, the Mattel wrestling figures, is like they seem to get everything right. It's just really set and on, well, on point as the kids say. And, you know, they, they're easy to pose around and move around. Anvil is the better of the two, believe me. He, he's just smooth and perfect. And I'm taking his glasses off to not ruin them. And yeah, the butterfly joints look great. Uh, they even have toe articulation. So again, I mean, these are just really, really awesome figures. I mean, <laughs> I love the heart foundation from the get go. Um, you know, as heels, they were enjoyable. As uh, baby faces, they were enjoyable. I mean, they rocked. I was not as big a fan of Bret Hart as a solo act. Some people are, and that's fine. I mean, I didn't hate Bret Hart as a solo act. I just didn't think he was as good as when he had his brother-in-law, Jim, uh, with him. That's me, okay? Um, now, wrestling, yeah, he was probably better. But just as an act, as a, as a you know... As is always said, Brett, um, Brett couldn't interview for nothing. And I don't think that's necessarily true, but it's like, what was he trying to convey? Yeah, okay, there's that. I do notice here on Brett, my shoulders have this really deep, really deep. Um, I don't know why it doesn't, I don't think it adds to their articulation. Um, that's really strange, but I'm not going to knock it too much because I mean it is what it is I like these a whole lot I'm really glad I got them uh, despite some of the flaws like the sunglasses and uh, things um, again one of my favorite tag teams of all time they're really cool um, I think I, I think I'm gonna use you know, yeah <laughs> I think I'm mostly going to use that lighting. That's so Jim the Anvil right there. That's really him. That really rocks. Um, Brett, I mean, jeez. I don't know. Um, this is supposed to be smirking, I think, and it doesn't work for me. 
is more stoic and you know I think the head he's got is probably the best one um, my wife said he looks like David Boy uh, <laughs> instead of Bret Hart I was like I can't really find a counter argument on that one <laughs> it's true uh, <laughs> But uh, I like them. I, I do. I like them a lot. It's, uh, you know, the perfect outfit. Oh, uh, let me get Jim grabbing his goatee, too. Because that was one other one he did was he grabbed his goatee. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, this is pretty cool because I got a pretty cool Davy boy now. Um, Britt is drunk. Sorry. Um, that's the problem with this ring is it's really hard to move things around and get things right. Uh, Um, so you know what we need? We need a Brian Pillman. That's for sure. We need an Owen. Um, I doubt W Mattel's gonna do a do, uh, a, do a WWE Owen. Um, so Jazzwares, you need to step up your game. Uh, I've had a couple of Owens that were pretty decent, but you know they had that zombie skin that Jazzwares is known for. So I'm not too happy with that. But Again, uh, you know, until they get Bret Hart's face right, um, you know, I don't know what's what it's going to take. Uh, I, I, this figure by itself is perfectly fine, except for the face. I don't know. It's, it's the only thing of this set that is wrong is the face on Bret Hart. Maybe one day they'll get it right and it'll be a swappable head and we, uh, you know, we can swap the head out and boom. We're all set and going to the races. As it is, this is, this Bret is really good except for the head this Jimmy Anvil is perfect love it. it it's just perfect as he is I can't say enough about him um, if you're a fan of the Hart Foundation and you don't have too many Bret Hart's I only have one other and same problem as the face sculpt it was just ugh, it was so off and you know every one I've seen since then same thing just off so that's all I can say is that you know if the face sculpt is off it doesn't work for me and then I just try to move on and see what else I can do that being said that doesn't mean these aren't good in fact they are very good so in summation good set another Coliseum video um, that Coliseum video what am I thinking Coliseum collection set that I really like they just announced Ted DiBiase and uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat I'm tempted on the Ricky the Dragon I have to admit so we'll see what happens there but these are really cool I'd recommend them and uh, that's gonna, that'll wrap it up for now uh, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed and these are cool figures and do all that YouTube stuff and we'll catch you later